you know, I observe a lot of interesting trends here uh, in benzo land, so to speak, you know, with the trends in benzo recovery, benzo uh, withdrawal. And I can tell you that there's something special that happens around the five milligram volume uh, range, or you could, could think of it as the five milligram volume equivalent range, which translates to, you know, 0.25 of clonopin, um, 0.25 of Xanax, uh, 0.5 of Ativan. Around that range, that's around that five, 3.8, four, five, six milligram range equivalent of volume. Something starts to happen there where the nervous system, you know, the, 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 the amount of the benzo, and this is different for everyone, of course, but generally speaking, the, the, the amount of benzo is, you know, gets so low enough, the, the effective level of it is so low that this is the turning point where the nervous system has now start, it starts to have to pick up the, the weight. I, I almost consider this is the point where we start to pivot off the crutch and start to put the, the weight back on our leg. You know, assuming like if you look at benzo withdrawal as sort of, you know, the benzo being a crutch that we've used, this is the part where we start to test that leg. And I think this this five milligram range of volume, or like I said, this 0.25 of Klonopin, 0.25 of Xanax, 0.5 of Ativan, this range is really critical in our recovery. This is where we really should be asking ourselves, are we doing everything we can do to assure uh, that this leg can hold our weight? So that way we don't try to stand on it and, and buckle and, and then panic and things get worse. So that five milligram range is, is pretty critical in our recovery. And, and it's a really interesting point because this is where um, after that point around the five milligram range, you really start to see what this drug is going to do, right? Because now there's not that much drug in your system. Not that there probably was that much to begin with, but, but now really your nervous system is doing all the heavy lifting. So if you're at that point and things are still together, take a breath of r relief because you've probably turned that corner, my friends, or you're turning it. It's a, it's a really interesting point in your recovery. And I do think, again, that this is the point where we should be focusing on all the things we can do and really fostering this, this turning of the corner. Or sometimes I call it um, the passing of the baton, like a baton race, like the nervous system or the benzo was running down, you know, running the race, holding the baton. And now it's handing it over to the nervous system. It says, here you go. Now you run with it. You manage anxiety. You manage stress. Right? So the turning the corner at five milligrams, it, it, I've seen it more times than I can tell you guys. It's, it really is a unique phenomenon in this recovery process. And if you're there and you're doing well or well enough, good, great. In fact, great. Give yourself, like I said, have some... Ha, you know, have some relief. You know, the things that you thought were going to happen, all these ca terrible, cata cata catastrophic things, they didn't happen. And I'm telling you, they p most likely will not happen. But again, if you're at that five milligram mark, see it for what it is, that it is this unique uh, kind of critical period of adjustment, of change during this process, and ask yourself, are you doing everything you can? And if not, then it's time to foster and beef up our, our resilience, our plasticity, our movement, our exposures, our lulling, you know, lulling down our nervous system. This has becomes very important. It's going to become important. And, and another thing to say about this point, this is usually where the benzo stops working as far as the fluctuation, for better or worse, meaning those big dips when you drop that you were feeling that that big um, you know it's like a, a roller coaster where you drop a little bit and then you go god this thing just hit me hard that starts to disappear but also those gr better moments that you have start to disappear and you start to just it all starts to feel kind of around the same i hear this more times than i can tell you guys that people get to that like i said that five milligram of volume range or equivalent of and they start to say man dave it all feels the same every time i drop it this feels the same and people start to get motivated to move faster at that point because they go well what the hell what's the point it all feels the same well of course we don't want to run off the finish line you know we want to turn this corner smoothly um but but there's it, it becomes less about man maybe i should hold for a couple weeks well why it all it just feels the same but things aren't getting worse things i'm not getting you know those more of a, the windows so to speak at the time although many people do I would say most people, 
uh, once they get in this range, do start to have more windows. But it all, I'm saying the taper, it all starts to feel the same at that point. Uh, and I think this is a good thing. And I think sometimes it can startle us. Um, oh my God, where's this extra relief? But it's like, yeah, but look at the fact that it's not getting worse either. This is it. You know, now you're standing, and, it, and that's kind of what it is. It's like the crutch is gone at some point, and you're standing on your leg, not realizing it, and you're still thinking, but what happens when I remove the crutch? And it's like, my friend, you are, you don't realize the crutch isn't doing anything anymore. You may have not been doing anything in the last five months, but you're still afraid. You're standing on your leg, but you're still talking to yourself as if you're not, and that's something that you're so scared of what's going to happen when you put that weight on the leg. Wow.